Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Cars, Computers, and Bowie. Today we're going to be testing the generator. So I've already tried it out, make sure it works minimally, but today we're actually going to hook it up to my refrigerator, my freezer, and a window unit. That way we can test to see if it's got enough juice to power my house in case the power goes out, especially during the summer. It's always a good idea to test these things and also run them every once in a while. If you just test it one time and then sit it in the garage and forget about it, it's not going to work when you need it. We're going to plug in all our stuff, make sure that it works, and let it run for a little bit to make sure it's able to power everything without going out. All right, let's get started. So here's our generator. If you didn't watch my uh, intro first start video, you can uh, watch it here on my channel. So let me go over this cord a little bit. So you'll see each there's four outlets. Two of them are green, two of them are red. So the way that this cord works is that plug is connected, one side's connected to one side of the generator motor, the other side's connected to the other side of the generator motor. Now I'm not an electrician, I don't know exactly how it works, but basically you've got to balance the load between both the red and the green uh, sockets. So you don't want to plug like a refrigerator and a window unit on one side and then nothing on the other side because it'll start uh, knocking the motor and it won't run as well. So another part of this test is I'm not really sure if I have enough extension cords to uh, get from the generator to all my stuff because you don't want to run your generator right next to the house. You want it out in your yard a little bit so that the fumes don't get into the house and in case you know a fire starts something like that you don't burn your house down either. So you need pretty long extension cords. All right, so we're gonna take all these extension cords. So here's my freezer from the um, first start video. It's just a basic chest freezer, about, uh, uh, I don't really remember how many cubic feet it is. Uh, I wanna say it's five, but I could be wrong. This is my refrigerator. It's just a basic side-by-side -side refrigerator. You know, it's a fairly new one, so it should be energy efficient. And this is my window unit. It's just a basic 5000 BTU mechanical air conditioner for a window. Um, let's plug this, this one in. Like I said, I'm just sitting it on the ground over there. And we're going to put it over here. Now I'm not going to plug it in yet because you have to start the generator before you plug anything into it. Otherwise, it won't start. If you're worried about testing this, your fridge and your freezer will actually be fine. For a fridge, it's about four hours from what I recall for how long uh, it'll be able to maintain its temperature. Chest freezer, I think, is a little bit longer because it's at a lower temperature. So you just unplugging it for you know the whole five or ten minutes until you get your test started it's not going to affect it just don't open it that's the that's the big thing don't open your fridge or your freezer while you're while it's not powered fun fact this extension cord used to be just as orange as this one but I left it outside for a little while because it was powering something and it just it turned yellow just from the sun all right so we got our window unit, we've got our freezer. Let's go get our refrigerator. Bowie is concerned. All right, there's the cord back there, covered in dust and spider webs. Okay. Will you gonna help us? Now in a no AC situation, you could just run your cord outside and leave the door cracked or even through a window, but I actually still have AC, so I'm gonna try to close this as best I can. So we've got cord for the refrigerator, cord for the freezer, cord for the window unit. I think we're ready to test this. I think Bowie might like the air conditioner over there. So right now he's just investigating the wood pile. So if you don't remember from my first start video, it's actually got instructions on the top to help you out. But we want to set this to the uh, first. Actually, you want to check oil. Even if you don't think anything happened, it's always a good idea just to check and make sure that 
you do have oil in here. And uh, yep, there's oil on that stick. Okay, next, fill it with gas. I already did that. Uh, set our set our fuel valve to on. Set the choke on to help it start. Set the switch to run. We've got it set to 240 because that's how this one runs. And now we're ready to start it. It wants to start. See if everyone's working. All right, AC's working. All right, fridge is working. Compressor isn't running, so I'm gonna try to get the compressor to start. All right, the compressor's running, but I can't hear the fridge working. It's uh, blowing cold air. The compressor is. It's running. All right, so things are running great. I'm gonna let it run out of gas, make sure there isn't any issues um, from running it for a long time. One thing, a few things I wanted to mention though. Think about is security. Depending on where you live, a lot of people could just run in here, unplug everything, and take your generator. So lock it behind a gate. You could also, if you have a chain or something, chain it to a fence post or something, but I don't have anything strong enough to chain it to. So just make sure that it's secure. That way nobody comes up and tries to steal it. When you get your Westinghouse generator, you can like do the little online registration to get the warranty and everything out of it. And they also send you a free cover if you give them a good rating online. So... I have a feeling a lot of those uh, five-star ratings are because they got the free cover. But, hey, I'll take a free cover for doing a review. Well, it seems a little big. Even with the drawstring all pulled all the way out, it doesn't exactly fit well. But, again, for a free cover, it's better than no cover. So it won't... In the garage it won't get dusty and if you had it outside I bet you this would be pretty waterproof too. Alright that should do it for this episode of Cars Computers Buoy. I was able to run my refrigerator, freezer, and window unit on this uh, Westinghouse 5300 uh, generator. It ran pretty well. I mean I put maybe like a cup or two of gasoline in it and it ran for about five minutes. I don't know about the math if I were to fill it with a full tank. Uh, it's supposed to be eight hours on half load, but it should last a good long time on its uh, gas tank if we needed it to. So hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, we'll see you next time.